Say this to her, and she will be yours. Hi. I'm going to tell you some secrets today about how to make a woman like you a lot. Experts say that women really like it when they hear nice words. They really enjoy compliments. But what kind of words do women want to hear from men? What can you say to make them really happy? And how should you say these things so you don't mess it up? I'm going to explain all of this in the first part of this video. But remember, just saying nice things isn't enough. Women also notice what men do. What kind of things should you do to make a woman really like you? I'll explain that in the second part of this video. If you watch the whole video, you'll learn how to use both words and actions together in a good way to make a woman fall for you. So, we're getting to the best part of our video now, but before we do that, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any cool new videos. Alright, let's get started without waiting any longer. Part 1. Words that make women fall in love. Let's begin with the first section. Words that women want to hear from men. Name. The first word to remember is her name. It sounds simple, but it's really important. Using a woman's name shows you see her as a person and you're interested in her. It helps make a better connection and makes her feel good. Just make sure to say her name the right way and with respect. Don't change it or use a nickname unless she says it's okay and don't say it too much. Only use her name when it feels right. Thank you. The next important word is thank you. Women really like it when men are grateful for what they do. Saying thank you for things she does for you or just for being a part of your life shows you're thankful and you value her. It's also a way to show good manners. But don't just say thank you for everything and don't make it a habit. Only say it when you really mean it and when she's done something that deserves thanks. Compliment. The third important word is compliment. Women really like it when men compliment them. If you tell a woman she is beautiful, smart, talented, or interesting, you make her feel good about herself and happy. It shows that you notice and admire her, but it's important to do it right. Don't use common, overused phrases. Avoid complimenting just her looks, as it might not seem genuine. And don't compliment her just to get something from her. That can seem selfish. Instead, give compliments that are true and specific to what you really think and see in her. Praise not just her appearance but also her personality, skills, achievements, or ideas. And give compliments just to express your feelings, not to get a response. Sorry. The fourth word to remember is sorry. Women like it when men can admit they are wrong and say sorry. Saying sorry when you've made a mistake shows you're responsible and grown up. It also shows you respect and care about her feelings. But it's important to say sorry the right way. Don't just say it all the time or without really meaning it. Don't say sorry if you're not truly sorry or don't plan to do better. And don't say it in a way that sounds like you're blaming someone else. Only say sorry when you really feel bad about what you did or said. Say it with a real feeling of wanting to fix what went wrong and, if you can, try to do something to make things right and stop the same mistake from happening again. Now we're going to start the second part of the video. But before we do, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any new and exciting topics. Alright, let's keep going. Part 2. Actions that make women fall in love. Smile. The first thing to do is smile. Women really like it when men smile at them. Smiling shows a woman that you are friendly and kind. It also shows that you are confident and positive. But make sure your smile is real and fits the situation. Don't keep smiling all the time for no reason, as it might look strange or too much. And don't force your smile, because then it might not seem genuine. Smile in a warm and natural way when you are really happy or interested. Smile at the right time, like when you want to be supportive or give a woman a compliment eye contact. The second thing to do is make eye contact. Women really appreciate when men look into their eyes. Eye contact shows you are paying attention and are interested in what she's saying. It also shows you're open and honest, but you have to do it right. Don't stare too long or too intensely, because that can seem too forward or even scary. Also, don't just glance at her quickly or rarely, as that might make you seem uninterested or like you're hiding something. Try to keep a balanced and steady eye contact when you're really listening or talking to her. Look at her in a way that's right for the moment and that shows your feelings or thoughts. Touch. 
The third thing to learn is how to touch. Women like it when men touch them in a nice way. Touching shows you're attracted to her and care about her. But be careful with how you do it. Don't touch her too early or too often, because it might seem too forward or not respectful. Also, don't touch too hard or too softly. You don't want to be rough or too hesitant. Touch her slowly and gently when you feel close and trust each other. And if you want to comfort her or show affection, touch her lightly and softly. Gift. The fourth thing to do is give a gift. Women really appreciate receiving gifts from men. By giving a gift, you show that you are kind and thoughtful. It also shows your good taste. However, it's important to give the right kind of gift. Avoid gifts that are very expensive or very cheap, as that might not seem right or could be upsetting. Also, don't choose gifts that are too common or too unusual, as they might seem like you didn't put much thought into them or are too personal. Choose gifts that suit her, based on what you know she likes or needs. When you want to make her happy or surprise her, pick gifts that are unique and creative. Compromise. The fifth important action is learning to compromise. Women really like it when men are willing to meet halfway. Compromising shows her that you are adaptable and respectful. It also shows you're mature and responsible. But it's important to do it right. Don't always give in or make it a regular thing. Think about what you want and need too. Don't blame yourself or give up too much. Make compromises when it really makes sense and when it's fair. Choose to compromise because you want to make things better or keep a good relationship going. Here are the five things women like to see men do. Now, I have a question for you. What action do you think women like the least? What could you do that would ruin your chances of being happy with them? Think about this and leave your answer in the comments. I'm now going to start the third part of this video, conclusion. Now you know what words and actions women like from men and how to use them to get a woman's attention and keep her interested. But there's something even more important for your success. It's something you need to do for yourself, not just for her. It's something you should do all the time, every day, every minute. It's something you need to do for your whole life. And that thing is to be yourself. That's right, just be you. This is the best advice because it's the key to being happy and making the woman you love happy too. It's how you'll find the right woman for you. It's how you avoid future problems and conflicts. It's the only way to be special and unforgettable to a woman. But what does being yourself really mean? It means not faking things or telling lies. It means not copying others or trying to be like them. It means not changing who you are to fit in. It means telling the truth and being upfront. It means being trustworthy and dependable. It means being true to who you are inside. Being true to yourself is essential. Without it, everything else you say or do doesn't really matter. If you're not being yourself, you can't truly connect with a woman's heart. Instead, you might end up fooling her or yourself. If you're not genuine, you can't maintain a lasting relationship. You might end up letting her down or yourself. And without being true to who you are, you can't be truly happy together. You might just end up feeling bad or making things hard for yourself. Being true to yourself isn't about being selfish or not caring about others. It's not about overlooking or not caring about what a woman thinks or feels. And it doesn't mean you stop trying to become a better person. Being yourself actually means being a good partner and friend to a woman. It means you listen to and respect what she thinks and feels. It's about both of you growing and getting better together. Being true to who you are is the easiest and hardest thing to do. It's easy because you don't need to learn anything special for it. It's hard because it takes a lot of inner strength and personality. But it's worth doing because being yourself is the best way to find happiness and love. I've shared with you the things women like to hear and see from men. I've explained how to use these words and actions to get and hold a woman's interest. And I've talked about one important rule for being happy and loved, that is, to always be true to yourself. I wish that this advice is useful for you in your life. I hope you meet your perfect partner and have a peaceful and happy life together. If you have made it this far, comment below with the word 100% to confirm that you have received the knowledge from this video.
For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.